What's up guys? This is the Riveman and welcome back to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off happened last time, um, not a huge amount's happened. Britain's declared war on us, but the 13 colonies did not. Um, and apart from that, I've just really been uh, investing and upgrading my economy. So because Britain's at war with us, we've got two options. We could progress up and take Moose Factory, which I'm tempted to do as an intermediate step, because I fear this will end up spawning a giant stack of troops which will then send south then the other direction is to go through the bahamas and capture their territories so i want to do both but in in the immediate term knowing what i know about the ai and how the ai can behave i've got a feeling there's going to be an army gathering in moose factory so i am going to want to build up this force with some more troops not great troops but something more and let's hit enter. So right now the only upgrades we could really do are upgrades to roads, upgrades to farms, plantations and also government buildings. We can't research military technologies or naval technologies, which are still military, but you know, none of the military tree we can actually do. And we don't have any towns yet that could take advantage of advanced industrial techs. So it's kind of a waste of time to research those as well. It would probably be good to upgrade my school, but I don't want to do that until I've got the top government building and also the resistance to foreign occupation has gone down a bit. So fairly quickly we're going to be pushed down a route of researching a limited number of technologies using a bottom tier school. Which isn't very efficient, but unless I build a garrison there, which I don't really want to do, See, right now we're currently at zero. Resistance to foreign occupation will go down by four, over 14 turns. But I will need to build the governor's mansion to get the bonus to repression. But at the same time, do I do that? Or do I upgrade... This fur trapper post is an interesting idea, but I'm tempted to upgrade my... Sugar plantation. I can only really do one thing a turn. More goods to trade. Seems like a smart idea. Let's keep my priest marching up. They'll have to convert Mooseland anyway. There'll be some complaints from the native peoples <laughs> as my priest walks through their territory. But I want to get some eyes on what's going on up here. And they also have two fur trappers. One of them's an abundant yield, which will add even more goods to our trade theatres. It does put us at risk a bit with the Huron. They may turn on us, but right now we're friendly and they're allied with the French, so... It's not really in their interest to declare on us. Not that that stops the AI, but whatever. See, if I exempt these from taxes, it doesn't reduce the calculus. It doesn't improve the calculus by much. This area isn't growing at all, because the populations are so low. Ooh, Shikakwa here is going to grow in 20-odd turns, but this is why we're going for crop rotation because that is something we can upgrade on all of our farms well most of them actually i think but uh, yeah rather than talking about what we're gonna do let's do it because i've talked about it over the last few parts and you guys should be fairly comfortable on what it is i plan to do oh we also do have some ships in the west africa trade theater looking trading for ivory but they are now at risk from the Royal Navy. I would like to grow my trade fleet and send some to the West Indies to get some spices into our portfolio. But I do, I do need to play it safe in terms of my home territories because we are completely dependent on our single port. Because if that gets blockaded by a superior fleet, we're done. Realistically, that could be Royal Navy 438 ships that we can't stop. Our income is fluctuating a lot. We've only got 1,800. We should be getting more than that a turn. Hmm. Send my spy. Not really a spy. There you go. Let's get them out of their territory quickly. Our armies have combined, or well, they've grown. We do need to upgrade the governor's mansion 
but there's nothing we can upgrade. We can build troops, but we don't really we're not bothered about troops. We will eventually be at war with the 13 colonies out of necessity. Particularly, I want Philadelphia. Because then we can start firing all slenders and researching all types of technology. Ah, the priests are coming. They may start to try to convert my population, which would be bad where my school is. Oh, I suspect the trade deficit is probably down to... Um, not trade deficit. My income deficit is down to foreign powers being blockaded. Okay, so you... What's going on up here? I knew it! I knew it. I knew it, knew it, knew it. In which case then, we may end up needing to call up more reinforcements from the south in the form of colonial line infantry. See, if I, upgrade, if I build this, we can't recruit it. We can't research it. Or we can't recruit infantry. So let's build the governor's mansion here to help improve public order. To get more oppression. And let's also oh, let's try pick up pick up an infantry unit at least to start to march north. We do have lots of militia, but I'd like to kind of reduce my dependence on melee infantry. We can get to them through the French territory. I think we can. Yeah, this can work. It's not very efficient, but we can do it. And at least up here we've got an eye on what they're doing. Especially if you, as we can't research artillery or build artillery in any form. It's concerning. Because we do need to move on them. Like, that's a stack and a half of troops. I can't just ignore them on the continent. They could just walk... They could walk straight to my lands and cause real problems. And I know I've got visibility on them, but I really don't feel comfortable leaving them up there. So I need to destroy them. And it's going to be an expensive endeavour, but we need to do it. These things go through allied territory. Two more units of infantry. This is going to eat up my income, but I would also seek to then. Sorry, militia. I just recruited you, and you're done. Okay, so these guys are demonstrably better. They're much more expensive, but they are just a lot better. Sorry, native tribesmen. When combined together, it's not a bad army. We've got lots of cavalry. So do they. But ours is proper cavalry. Melee attack 9, defense 10. Attack 9, defense 11. Our light cavalry isn't so much better. It's better than the provincial cavalry, but not great. Hmm. Tricky, that's what it is. I think the order of the day is to casually build up while at the same time investing in my economy. I would love, 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 love to push south and take, start taking these islands. But if I move my army south, you know what will happen. They'll move their army and I'll be done. So I think the right decision is to lance that boil first. Don't say they're going to ruin. They're going to frustrate me by getting in the way. Because at the very least, I want better infantry than them. Private secretary, Valentin Sayers, plus plus one treasury, plus two justice. 
Who are you? Plus one treasury. You're pretty great at being a justice, but then so is he. Yep, you guys are doing all right. Ooh, we got some new trade options. We could trade with 13... Well, trading with France is probably... Even though they've booted us out before. We could also trade with the 13 colonies. It's probably because we've got a land route. I think we're going to, because we're friendly, and it also helps us. It's another reason to tie them into not fighting us, although it hasn't really helped our tr income that much. Well, we're starting to offset the troops we're growing, or the armies we're building. So, one turn off, advanced crop, or well, crop rotation. So, I'm going to save my cash so I can start upgrading some of these farms. Specifically the farms that are in towns currently closest to producing t um, farms in regions that are currently the closest to producing towns to try and produce the fastest um, the fastest towns, the weavers and the iron workshops and good wealth centres. Good, so that's crop rotation. Just quickly, do we have any th any farm, any buildings that can benefit from animal husbandry? Or is animal husbandry a general improvement? Plus 8% wealth, that's pretty good. Reduced chance of f food shortages, that's really good. Okay, so you're going to be done in 14 turns. So building clearances. Plus, th you make him a bit unhappy. But it does improve bit more money, a bit more growth, and reduces food shortages. So I think that's the best thing to do. Trade with France being blockaded, which is apparently worth loads to us. Not that we can do much about it. So let's keep our troops marching north. End turn. There's a British fleet with its tail between its legs and returning to Jamaica, to Port Royal, the home of the bad guys from Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, home to the good and the bad guys in Pirates of the Caribbean, I suppose. I mean, I suppose the good thing is about developing these towns is we can then spend a lot of time re upgrading our industry. Governor's Mansion. Oh, that's not much money at all we've got then. You're on 32 turns. You've only got one farm I can upgrade. Louisiana farms aren't... Buildings aren't growing at all. So I'm, villages aren't growing, so I'm not going to spend money there. I'll probably spend money up here in Michigan trying to help boost pop growth. Well, my army combines. Immediately. So probably... Well, I'll let my army combine before I start disbanding units. It's unfortunate that we're losing so much cash. We're not losing, but we're not gaining any from trade with France, but we're getting lots of trade with... Our relationship with New Spain is certainly very handy. Let's just hope the French can sort out whatever problems they're having in Europe so it doesn't throttle our economy too much. That's husbandry. It's a pretty, pretty quick and easy benefit. Yeah, we are actually... Something isn't right. Because our income, available funds, is just going down and down. But our, technically, our treasury is quite big. So obviously, I'm not going to spend any this turn. Make ready. Forward! For crown and country. Can you guys leave? Make 
Yes, you can. Yes, my lord. More orders. Let's combine our armies and get ready to march north. Because that's a whole bunch of troops. Fortunately, there's lots of well, lots of native troops, which is good and bad. It means they can swarm. Unless I do just ignore them for now. Do I keep my guys here watching and send them south to go and raid territories to gain more wealth? Because that actually might be quite a big roll of the dice. Hmm. Interesting decisions. So there's no point doing these because they're way too big. We may as well go for a social contract. And I may actually send this army to Lake Port Royal to help gain wealth. Because right now our income, even though it should be good, it's bad for some reason. Yeah, that might be a good idea. At least we'll have our vicar, up, our priest up here watching. So that when they move, at least we'll know. I doubt I can avoid or run around the British territories. I'll probably have to attack them. 13 colonies can declare on us if they like, but they didn't join the Brits in war when they declared on us. And I think that's pretty big. Yeah, we've got to do it. For whatever reason, my, the difference between income and real income and observed income is huge. So you guys get down to Mobile. So we are leaving this whole area exposed. But I don't really think there's realistically a lot we can do about it. Because right now, I could attack. Oh, if I attack to the north, it'd be a toss of the coin. And if we lose, it would take a, a long time to regroup. But I am leaving my territories horrendously exposed. So I'm very much depending. This is a big roll of the dice. On the political situation being fairly stable. Especially, yeah, I'm earning 200 a turn. But I'm theoretically it's saying I should be earning 1,500. Unless I'm giving loads of it to France. probably part of the deal but I find it a bit odd especially as I wasn't trading with France before so it's not as though it's a trade spat that's now causing problems it's a well observed thing let's say let's call it a thing it's a I've been trading I've grown my army a bit sure but not much I've grown my navy Sure, but not a crazy amount. So we've got a social contract. It's probably not helped in some areas. I'm t I should, even though I'm, I'm not getting much cash a turn, I might as well spend it. Certainly on these towns that are currently going to grow. Seven turns, that guy's going to pop, pop a new town shit up here yeah there it is so let's let's upgrade it just to keep the money coming in Your orders, Your Majesty. let's probably send no I can't get to Jamaica and back safely I think I need to move my fleet as a as a big entity Oh, I didn't pick a new technology again <laughs> because 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 things I should probably set them to just start researching industrial techs even though I can't make use of it off the bat they'll at least be producing more money as soon as they're built I mean, this is a big risk, but I don't want to send 
armies out. I don't want to send partial armies out. Okay, let's keep... Okay, let's keep a fifth rate. So move a fifth rate out of the port. Get my army aboard Louis de la Mobile. Take my ships. They are in range of Curacao, so we, if if Jamaica's too strong for us, Any order? which yikes, it is. It's not much of a navy, but that's a really big oh, army. Sir. Let's go to Curacao. So that at least gives us also town a, a town to build off of as well. And he also does get us a shipyard, but I, mm, yeah. I'll have to decide what to do with that. My lord. What ship is this? Some captured sloop. Officer on deck. Could attack you, but I'm probably not going to. So we're getting down seed planting drill route, which is... Maybe he might just go for advanced irrigation rather than these. They're quicker, but I've got none of them. So I might just do this. Especially if I'm going to be cranking through turns to gain that pop growth. See, I should be getting more money. But I don't know why I'm not. Unless I am just giving it to France. It's some sort of feature. But if I can kill the pirates, that would make the Spanish and French hand stronger in the Caribbean. And to be honest, as much as I don't want to declare war on the 13 colonies, it might be the best thing to do. Because to beat those armies of those main factions, I need military tech, I need advanced artillery, I need, I need stuff. I mean, I can't, I can't slash not, and I'm not going to declare war on the French and the Spanish because they're my friends. So I think a potential route could be once I've knocked the pirates out to go and get my army back up north and attack the thirteen colonies. It's my only real option, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's fight it. <laughs> let's get a bit of fun in this turn. Or this episode. But then we'll chase away their fleet. And at least we'll have secured new a new area that can export goods and also produce cash. And then I'll probably build a ship in the port to guard it, and that's it. Okay, let's build build up our battle line. Like my the problem as I see it is that I can't support a bigger poor quality army to fight the Brits. And if they have any sort of technology, they will out fight me even if you ignore the, the fact that um, I should be able to beat them because I'm I'm a human. I'm a human male rather than AI. And that's my chief concern. So I'm moving my infantry block up which I might want to run because I have advanced them up quite far. Oh, hell, everyone who's not on horse can run. Whereas these guys, the glorious colonial lights that look great and they're green with the plumes. Provincial cavalry, these guys with grey coats, they look pretty good. Oh, oh yeah, well, I these my, my colonial lights are the guys in the green. Dispatch some cavalry. 
to be honest, let's dispatch my cavalry ahead. This is a glorious sight. run my melee troops over to intercept this unit of armed citizenry and let's run my regular infantry up to chase down I don't know it looks like they're all gonna they've bailed it's armed citizenry they've got a bunch of angry natives charging them These guys should melt before my savage natives. Lots of deaths. They're getting a couple of our guys. Aha! So you go after them. Cavalry! Pirate mob. So the pikes just melt straight through these these uh, citizenries. Oh yeah, let's get my general to chase down that unit of buccaneers. Yep, they targeted the wrong unit. And skirmish mode kicked in, so they haven't been able to reload and reform for the second light horse to charge in. Good lads. win especially we lost so few men so if i use you guys to go and ship sail on water my lord Can't sail up. there captain that is dry land how what Where to, captain? oh aye, aye, captain. there's a guy in the port so if i do use that so yes your majesty although i can't attack him for some reason Destroy that Zebek. I don't want it. I'll take the money. Yeah, I can't attack it. I cannot do that. He's not in the port because my guys are in it. That's just what a weird looking glitch. Let's fix that. We'll fix the governor's mansion soon. We'll give you guys roads. Secure a sales. Currently adding not very much at all, really. <laughs> Into our empire. Because it's a very poor craft workshop. Although they should start growing. Fairly quickly. Can we not build? Yeah, we can build roads. 
Sweet. So how many turns are we away? Five turns. Four. Up Louisiana gives us a new farm. But if we can knock out the pirates and get back to home territory, then back up north, I consider that quite a good win. They demand up Louisiana for Gibraltar. No. I will not barter with you, Spain. Especially for such a critical territory. This region is ours. So I want to take Curacao, I want to take Trinidad and Tobago. And then I want to get my army back quickly as as quickly as possible. Brought up to an even thousand. Even though we should be getting loads more than that. Still not enough to repair the governor's barracks. Let's use it to rebuild or invest in our army. Pretty sure there's nothing we can build around here. We're still cracking away on that technology. Sweet. Is there nobody we can trade with? Nope. Yeah, I've got my eye on Spain. They're tricksy. Like that. I do not like that one bit. <laughs> Them having a giant army <laughs> aboard ship. This is why we're very much going to try and blitzkrieg our way over to Trinidad and then back as quickly as possible. Then I think I need to, I, I need to attack the 13 colonies as quickly as possible. I really don't want to, because we've not really got the money to do it, but we're already at war with Britain, so that threat's gone. We can take Philadelphia <coughs> and try and research kind of shot, square, bayonets, all the good stuff. Especially as I'm already fighting on the back foot. Um, in that I've not got a big economy and I can only support one proper army. Yeah, it's a temporary blockade. Still can't repair this. We need another 12 gold. Is, is well the question is do I hmm, do I necessarily want to knock all of the Brits out knock all the pirates out because the pirates they are still they are interfering with the British operations here so I am tempted to actually maybe take my gains from Curacao and then run it's sorely tempting but we need to repair this building first oh god Yep, the Brits are mobilising their army. It'll take them a few turns to get around to us. But we need to move now. But that, in a way, that's kind of ideal. If they sail around to a similar position, I think it'll take them three turns, so they may get there before we can, because I'm not going to sail my army up. Or do I sail it up and around to meet them? Or... Mm. So I don't, I, I can't remember what strength the army was. One interesting plan is to maybe send one ship to sprint to my port, and then send the others to meet up and try and race up the coast to try and head them off. But they'll probably make, will they make that loop quicker than I can sprint up the coast? Yeah, it's another temporary blockade. But you guys. I've also got you. So you guys build a... What's the cheapest thing? A sloop. 
Go to sleep. Okay, you guys. Okay, let's take a race built galleon. I can't get home. None of them can, actually. In a straight run, so my, my, I can't really do that. I probably need to leave. Uh, annoyingly, I, need, I want to leave a ship here, really. To stop them from raiding it. Because I can't build anything. Don't want to leave any troops behind. So if I leave, I afra I'm afraid the Brits will raid and then go away. Then I have to repair it. But I can't leave any ships behind, because I want them all. If I leave one behind, it's too easy of a snack. And I don't want to leave any troops behind, because I'll need all I can get. So I'm afraid I might just have to risk... Well, I can leave this port unguarded to just get home as quickly as I can. I need to run my troops up. Because I don't remember what strength their navy was. But ideally, if they come down here and take Niagara again, we can defeat them. And then once we, as we've defeated them there, we can beat these remaining guys up here. Because I'm afraid the French are not going to help us out. There's not a lot else we can do about it. That's the most frustrating part. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why I wanted to leave something there. Oh well. Not a lot we can do about that. Do you demand all of my territories? No. Yeah. To be honest, that last gutting experience... For me, just solidifies I need to take out the 13 colonies. With the Cherokee on my side, they can occupy an attack from the south. While I can strike north. Mainly because I need advanced techs to make my armies fight. To make my armies fight, um, to be able to take out more numbers than what they currently are. Yeah, that's so annoying. Yeah, I don't need to rub it in, game. It does mean Jamaica is less protected. But it doesn't really help us very much. Get you guys up here rapidly. So it'll take a few turns, because it's even, even though this is the, the quicker route, the infrastructure of these native lands is terrible. Okay, so I've got a bit of cash to spend on grading. Not you. 35 turns. Villages are not growing. Okay, let's upgrade. Clearance is here. And let's just keep ending turn until we find out either that British army shows up. There it is. Yeah, I could not have fought them off with my army. Oh, really frustratingly. It means that our army might not get there before the before the uh, the Cherokee does. Well, no, ours should. We should get there because I don't want to lose it to the Cherokee and then have a discontinu discontinuous empire. I want to have my lands be connected, not be two separate areas. So, yeah, these guys, well, they'll be on the way, at least. Yeah, frustrating. I couldn't have sped them up the coast quickly. So let's check out the 13 colonies. Though they're not allied with anyone, it would just be Britain. If we declare on them, we'd be just be fighting them and Britain. And their armies aren't that similar to Britain anyway. So we've got some more money to upgrade a farm. I may as well upgrade this guy. Now, wait a minute. Cancel everything. Craft workshop. Hurrah! Real money. Not a massive boost. In 25 turns, the next one will grow as well. Which isn't many turns. When you consider the fact that we're just cranking them out. Yeah, just let them have it. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That could be delicate. That could be very delicate. Because we've not got... Mm. If I pull my navies back from trading... If I pull my navies back from trading, the only real... Yeah, I'll, I'll lose the income from overseas. Okay, what ships have you got? Lots of fifths. A better fleet than I can beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. A couple of six and sloops. Yeah, you're... Yeah. Uh, they're probably equivalent. Hey, my guys hate them so much, they might actually rebel. March onward. So you built another farm. Let's upgrade this farm. Let's hit end turn and then watch the pain come in. they've not come to well, they've not blockaded us and I've not got the cash to be able to build to spam out a massive fleet either maybe no in a way it was a good thing we didn't kill the pirates because then it would give them no reason to look elsewhere good so now you're producing more in, producing more goods The only farm, unfortunately, is now it's a British school because they've taken, they've landed Sir. one up from where they were. Let's just hope they don't do anything with these guys because I can't afford to build more ships, even though I should. I can only build brigs and sloops. So that's just a spoiling expedition. It's way to ruin my time. Yeah, I think in the grand scheme, all I all I can really hey, have the thirteen colonies stopped trading with me? It looks like they have, because I can no longer see inside their territory. We're still trading. Make ready. Okay, I might do that. I did this to hope that I can take it back before they rebel. And I'm probably going to fight this myself because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to lose a load of men in a stupid battle against OP AI mortars. Bring it on. <laughs> Go get him. <laughs> Go get him, cavalry. Jump. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> there you go. Taking it back without losing a single... You, a single man. Oh, God, and the AI's... Ready, and oh, obviously they're unhappy so I've not got a massive army in there. But I will do soon. So let's start building up a war chest. Drill master as my general. Diplomacy. Let's try to see if we can... Okay, I don't want any industrial tech. I don't know why I went to try to buy something off of them. French, New Spain. They have no tech. Pueblo nations won't. Trouble is, I've got a from France. I'm probably not going to get anything from Spain. 
maybe I, maybe I can't buy technologies. I don't have any. I can't. I'm not able to research anything. So that's probably why I can't. Re I can't research them. That's probably why I can't actually. Um, buy them. So let's bring my agent back down. There's no point in him keeping an eye on up there anymore. It's so much more out of our reach. Before we move on the 13 colonies, I need to hit that British army. Which is probably going to be frustrating because it's in the 13 colonies territory and I can't hit it. Like, I can't cross their borders. They've got to be coming for me. It's a concerted push from them. So I have to do this to help keep them in line, which leaves this territory exposed to Roland Nordell, but I can't cross the border anyway. Hey, we've actually got an amount of money in. So I don't want to build this, because that's going to get squashed and taken by the Brits. Probably want to build the Weaver's Cottage. like to build more troops <laughs> realistically but I can't okay so they stopped your research of advanced irrigation or to go for spinning jenny is a quick win hmm. I think I upgrade this for now But yeah, eventually I do, I do just need to take the 13 colonies, get advanced military techs, and then strike at, well, the Anglosphere, if you like. Because that army's probably going to head our way. I'd feel a lot more confident if I had advanced drills and stuff. I just hope when the time comes, the, uh, the Cherokee join me. Which I think they will, because they want Charleston and so on. Yes, they're entrenched, they're not moving. See, I didn't get the same amount of cash in that turn. Commissioner, plus two to the Navy. Good. Hmm. It's scary. I can't move my army because this British army's here. I can't do anything to... Okay, I'll offer you grand for five turns of access. I want to try to see if I can go cross into the territory. It would take a long time to manoeuvre around, so I don't want to move to here and then have them run around. So I think we're pretty much at a bit of a standoff period here. And this has been another impromptu <laughs> hour special. I don't want to send them up here, because when I send them to Rupert's land, that's when they'll hit me. Maybe it might be better, actually, to keep my this guy up here, so I can at least keep an eye on them. It's 19 turns till you develop a new town. You're not developing a town at all. 9 turns for Michigan, 24 for Niagara. Hmm... At some point, I gotta hit them. 
I may have to wait a bunch of turns till I grow my grow some more towns to help offset the loss of trade. But then that's not ideal because if I lose them, then I lose the core of my economy. But what can we do? Relations with the 13 colonies are really good, so I don't really want to attack them, but... Because look, so they've got a full stack here in Philadelphia. A couple of smaller stacks here in Albany. Hmm. He's building the Niagara up to a military governor's barracks. Doesn't give me any decent new units yet, but the next one would. Well, they don't want to build in case they attack and I lose it. What a precarious position this is. You may actually might go straight to once you've finished building advanced doing advanced irrigation, go straight to measuring tools to upgrade my roads. To increase the rate of my troop transfer. Okay, you're no longer exempt from tax because I need your income. I am resting. This is very delicate, very delicate indeed. Although I certainly am of, of the opinion that if I have to if I have to declare war, I want to do it on my terms. <gasps> Got a rake. Will you try kill Roland Nordell? Nope. If I attack them, I'm going to fight a big battle here. Spend some time replenishing. They'll probably attack from the north, and I'll have to move up and attack them, defend them there. Okay, let's try and see if I can not provoke them exactly, but Forward. something like that. Good, so we've created another building to produce more income. Plant tobacco plantation, but I might I'm tempted to keep this money. That's a bit of a war chest for when I declare war. Does this get me any wine estates so just it's a flat improvement but it's not a it's not a uh, something I need to save money to build new buildings for because what I'm concerned about is the longer I wait um, am I just waiting for another British army to show up and land somewhere else because if you assume the AI is going to keep feeding you troops or keep feeding you armies to attack. If you don't kill them, they'll just stack up. So that's advanced irrigation, which is great. Measuring tools to get us metal roads to provide for more speedy transfer of troops. Okay, let's move up to here, up to the border. Take out the general, please. Yeah. Nope. It's a new farm. These will be raided immediately. But I'd like to keep the bulk of my strength south to strike at Philadelphia. Cut the empire in half and more or less let the thirteen let the um Cherokee take these. Marcus on strike. Oh god, I forgot they hate me, don't they? Always forget that. Well, build up some militia. Militia's not good, but gentleman scientist. It's handy. Technically, should be getting th um, three grand, but let's see. It's probably going to be the nearer one thousand. I'm uncomfortable 
declaring war on the 13 colonies, knowing that they are not... they aren't weak. <laughs> Certainly compared to me, they're not. Yep, so they've rioted and damaged the school. Exempt from tax. It doesn't go away, but it doesn't help. Unless what? I run cavalry in there. Nope. Sorry, sir. I have to spend valuable money building the school or rebuilding the school. It's gonna be very uncomfortable because a lot of my success on the war against the the Anglo's will be if the Cherokee join me. If they join me, they'll put lots of pressure on the south, which may draw some of their troops away from the north, although I fear it's probably just going to not really contribute and they're going to continue to speed towards me. <laughs> because, you know, I'm the human player and the Cherokee are the AI, so they're probably not going to spend a whole lot of their effort trying to kill them. Oh, the Venetians have finally showed up to attack my trade ships. So they can only send one, they can only chase down one of the ships. Let me just sink one of theirs. So that underlines why I dislike relying on trade on trade regions because so obviously these guys are at risk so i want to bring these guys back there's been a rebellion understandably and we know where it's going to go waiting for Ready, your order. Waiting order. it's going to hit school but it's a frustrating Sideshow, really. So I didn't move fully because I don't want to keep some control zone. Although I suspect they'll probably still manage to run around me. Which will be annoying. It's so still positive, supposedly, even without the ivory trade. Or maybe that wasn't really counting, I don't know. Maybe my trade port couldn't actually handle it. Build some more line infantry ready to send north and let's hit in turn to see if we get into a battle with the Iroquois rebels because even though this turn's been a very not a lot's happened at all this turn I feel like we're very much setting the stage for a pretty decisive conflict even then actually I don't really need to take Philadelphia Boston would do Because we could take Boston, that would give us a barracks and that would allow us to research. Boston gives us a port, Philadelphia doesn't. But Philadelphia is where they've got a big army, so we kind of have to... If you've got a smaller army, you can't really try and run around them, because they'll always track you down. Sometimes it is better to just bite the bullet, so to speak, and take them head on. Which I don't really want to do... But really is tricky. It really is tricky. Because there's not really any good targets in the Americas except for well, big cities that they're in by the 13 colonies, France and New Spain. Like I said earlier, don't really want to wind up New Spain nor France. So you're always going to have to fight the 13 colonies. Actually, yeah, I did actually uh, only do half my thoughts. So the reason why I said, oh yeah, that's classic, why I don't rely on trade. I don't like going after trade regions with bare bone ships because they give you almost a false sense of security about your own income. You make lots of easy money from trade, you grow your empire, you lose that easy trade. And we are going to intercept, but we're going to do it in the next episode because we're about to run up to a full hour, even though it's not meant to be an hour. So... 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Louisiana. Cheers, everyone.